All right, we're going to start you off once again with just a look over downtown Pittsburgh. 75 degrees, mostly cloudy now. Winds down at the east at six miles an hour. We are going to be looking at a dry day today. Notice these temperatures that we're seeing. Pittsburgh 75, the Butler area at 74, and the Trove also 75 degrees with the Franklin area coming in at 72. So high temperature today should be into the mid 80s after yesterday hitting 76 for high. So we will be almost a good 10 degrees or so warmer than that for the day. 84 is what we'll give you for a high today. I think tomorrow also will likely be spent into the 80s. Here's an hour by hour look at your afternoon hours. You can see all the way up until about 8 o'clock will likely be into the 80s, falling down to about 76 at about 10 o'clock tonight. Temperatures dripping just below the 70 degree mark overnight before we start to warm back up again tomorrow, likely into the 80s again for high temperatures. Now, as we're waking up tomorrow, more clouds will be around. In fact, we'll zoom out and show you what's going on. You can start to see. You see the cold front that's there. This this afternoon will be dry and pleasant, but the cold front will continue to move our way and will continue to bring us a chance for some rain as we're heading into both Thursday and Friday. So by tomorrow afternoon, we are going to start to look at a chance for rain. This is first thing in the morning. Notice the cloud cover that's there. That'll actually help to keep the temperatures up just a little warmer than what we saw this morning when we fell below 60 degrees. Likely won't be as cold tomorrow. Afternoon, sc uh, afternoon scattered showers, I should say, will start to develop. Does look like some fairly intense thunderstorms also could be possible in parts of West Virginia, maybe along, right along and just south of I-70, but we'll say into West Virginia at this point. Now by Friday, the whole day, we're looking at a chance for some rain. And sometimes at times this could be fairly intense, including what what could be some heavy rainfall setting up at times. Now earlier this morning it was looking like it would be more along I-70, but once again we're now starting to see model data kind of going back to what it was looking like yesterday, where all of western Pennsylvania will have at least a chance, solid chance, to see some heavy rain developing through the course of the day. We could be looking at some communities possibly seeing more than two inches of rain being possible through the course of the day. This is 12 o'clock. This is at noon on Friday. We could likely see rain going all the way up until really the overnight hours into Saturday before it completely comes to an end. If we see any type of flooding concerns, it would most likely at this point looks like it would be uh, early on Friday afternoon into the early evening hours, and then we'd start to see our rain chances going down. So we do have a chance for rain on Thursday, but look at the chance for rain on Friday. That's where most of the rain's going to come in, and that's where we have the flooding concerns as well. It's Saturday, rain really wrapping up before 8 o'clock in the morning, so most of the day on Saturday should be dry, but as we're waking up in the morning, it'll be wet outside and the rain will be wrapping up. There's your seven day outlook 84 today for a high 82 your Thursday high. Don't forget we will have those scattered showers around in the afternoon and 75 with rain around through the day on Friday. Here's the good news. The weekend looking fantastic. 77 your Saturday high and 81 on Saturday. Yeah, hard to complain. A lot of nice days both recently and yeah. ahead. Yep, just got to get through that Friday. Exactly. Right. Thank you.